Hi guys, welcome to the Flinders University Biology Discovery Centre. Today, behind us, we have an experiment where students are extracting the DNA from different native grass species to see how closely related these species are to one another. At Flinders University, you can major in many different fields in science, from physics to chemistry, biology, and even earth sciences. Today, we're giving you the chance to look inside our bird aviary we have right here on campus, or have a blood splatter analysis demonstration by the forensic science department. So we're here in the aviary next to the Biodiscovery Centre and this is a great place for students to study animal behaviour to be able to view these birds um, on campus, uh, the way in which they socially interact with each other, um, their eating habits and also the way in which the different species have um, a life story called a life history. The animal behaviour course at Flinders is really cool and Flinders Uni is the only uni in South Australia that offers this degree. Through the course we get to go on fun field trips to places like Second Valley and around the Adelaide Hills where we can do mist netting and capture and release of birds like the ones you see around here in the savoury. Let's take a look around and see what birds we can find. My name's Adrian Lineker, I'm the chair here in Forensic Science and one thing I teach is blood pattern and body fluids. There's key to a reconstruction of crime scenes. When blood leaves the body, it does so in a particular way. It obeys the laws of physics. So when you've got kicking, punching, stabbing, blood leaves the body in a particular way. It will always travel in a certain manner. And one thing we can do is this. So we're stamping into wet blood creates a particular blood pattern. And if you look at these, you get a gradation in sizes, but all of these ones here are very small. You picture what that would look like on something when it came into a forensic science lab. That's a spray pattern you'd get. Now, if you just move away a, a second, you can see there's blood on the ground, but there's one what we'd call a void. So you know, if you go to a crime scene, blood was here, it's no longer there. Something's happened. <laughs> 